Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another Psych2Go video. One of you requested a video on the different types of empaths. So here it is. Do you know what it means to be an empath? Did you know that there are different types of empaths as well? Psychology defines an empath as a highly sensitive individual with a keen ability to sense the thoughts and feelings of those around them. Their compassion, sensitivity, and emotionally open and insightful nature make them great listeners and effective communicators. If this sounds like you, and you wanna know more about what kind of empath you are, here is a brief description of each to help you better identify which of the six major categories you fall into. Number one, emotional empath. Whether it's a loved one or a stranger, do you find it easy to read their emotions and form a connection with them? The most common type of empath is the emotional empath. This is what most people think of when you ask them to define what an empath is. An emotional empath is someone who can easily pick up on the feelings of others and may even mimic or absorb them. They are easily influenced by the moods of those around them and as a result may come across as sensitive, erratic, and finicky with their emotions. Number two, physical empath. Have you ever felt tired because you were watching someone else overexert themselves? Do you feel like throwing up whenever you see someone else throw up or immediately feel unwell when those around you begin to experience symptoms of sickness? If you answered yes, then you might be what is known as a physical empath, also sometimes known as medical empaths. Physical empaths are just as in tune with the physical conditions of others as well as their own. As a result, they can easily pick up on someone else's sickness, pain, tension, discomfort, and overall sense of well-being. This goes beyond naturally communicable gestures as well, such as yawning or laughing. Number three, intuitive empath. Next are intuitive empaths, a rare and unique gift. Intuitive empathy, or claircognizance, as it's sometimes known, is all about reading and sensing a person's energy. By turning inward and listening to their subconscious, they're able to better understand and perceive everything around them. Simply put, they're able to use their intuition to look at and understand other people beyond what they reveal to them. Unlike emotional empaths, Intuitive empaths tend to focus more on the reasons behind a person's feelings rather than the experience of those feelings. As a result, other people may see them as incredibly insightful, perceptive, and wise beyond their years. Number four, dream empath. Do you know what a dream empath is? Another lesser known type of empath, and arguably the rarest of all, is the dream empath. They are people who receive intuitive information about others through their dreams. And as you might expect, most of them tend to be lucid dreamers who retain a lot of clarity, awareness, and control over themselves even while asleep. They can easily recall their dreams and have a natural talent for interpreting and understanding the hidden meaning behind its symbols, themes, and motif. Number five, plant empaths. More than just a green thumb, a plant empath refers to someone who feels deeply connected to plants, trees, and mother nature as a whole since they're able to just instinctively know what is and isn't good for a plant, they excel at tending to gardens or landscaping beautiful greenery. This connection with plants also gives them a strong sense of contentment and peace of mind. This is why they're at their happiest and most relaxed when they're caring for houseplants, shrubs, and other natural greenery. And number six, animal empath. Do you feel deeply connected with your pets? Animal empaths are people who feel a strong sense of connection and understanding towards animals. More than just your average pet lover, an animal empath is great at picking up on the subtle signs on what their animal may need or what they might be trying to say with their body language and sounds. As a result of their fascination and joy of animals, you'll often find them taking care of, spending their time with, and learning about animals. What kind of empath do you think you are? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.